Hello children when you go to the market you use money to buy chips and chocolates money is like a special key that you give to the shopkeeper and they give you chips and chocolates in return children in this video we will learn what is money its conversion addition and subtraction of money Before we talk about rupees and paise we shall discuss what is money Money is a type of currency we use to buy things Its uses include buying what we need saving for the future and paying people for their work It comes in coins and notes Children in class 3 you studied that 100 paise makes up 1 rupee In India the currency is denominated in rupees and paise the rupee is the main unit of currency while the paise represent the smaller units however it's important to note that in recent years the usage of paise as physical denominations has become less common and has been discontinued by the Indian government Now children we will learn how to convert rupees to paise and paise to rupees let's say you have 7 rupees with you and you need to know the money you have in paise what do you do in this case to convert rupees to paise you multiply the number of rupees to 100 so you simply multiply 7 with 100 it means you have 700 paise Now let's say you have 500 paise and you have to know the amount you have in rupees. To convert this amount, you simply put a point between 100 and 10's place. So in case of 500, we put a dot after 5 and 500 paise becomes rupees 5. Similarly, if you have 6579 paise and you need to know the amount in rupees you will put a point between 5 and 7 that means you have rupees 65.79 always remember to convert an amount given in rupees into paise we remove the symbol of rupee and the point and write paise and to convert paise into rupees we always write the symbol rupee before the amount and put a point between 100 and 10's place moving on children did you know that there are many practical uses of money in real life like addition and subtraction let's study about addition first Maria went to the store and bought an ice cream cone for 10.05 rupees and a packet of chips for 15.26 rupees. How much money did Maria spend in total? To solve this problem, we need to add the amounts of money spent on the ice cream cone and the packet of chips, which means 10.05 rupees plus 15.26 rupees to simply add 6 and 5 is 11 so we write 1 here and carry over 1 to the next position 0 plus 2 plus carried over 1 is 3 next we add 5 and 0 which is equal to 5 finally 1 plus 1 is 2 So the answer that we get is 25.31 rupees. So Maria spent a total of 25.31 rupees that is 25 rupees and 31 paise. Always remember that in addition to find the total amount we write one amount under the other and such that the point is exactly under the point and as as ordinary numbers just like we added money we will now learn its subtraction let's do an example to understand it emma has 50 rupees and she spent 
30.30 rupees on a book how much money does emma have left to solve this problem we need to subtract the amount spent from the total amount emma had now 50 rupees can be written as 50.00 as there are no values given to us after the point so to subtract these terms we write 50.00 rupees minus 30.30 rupees now we simply subtract the two values starting from the rightmost digit subtract 0 from 0 which gives 0 next since 3 is greater than 0 we need to borrow from the next digits we see that the next digit is also 0 so what do we do now we borrow 1 from the tens place so 5 becomes 4 and 0 at 1's place becomes 10 now we borrow 1 from this 10 and it becomes 9 and the digit after the point becomes 10. Subtracting 3 from 10 gives 7. Now we subtract 0 from 9 at 1's place. We are left with 9. Finally subtracting 3 from 4 gives 1. So the answer is 19.7. Therefore, Emma has 19.70 rupees left with her. So students, with this, we have learned how to convert rupees to paise and vice versa and learn how to add and subtract money. Now children, let me tell you an interesting way to learn more with the EduRev app. Do you know that you can read the notes of this chapter and can also take the MCQ test with the EduRev app? These can also help you become the topper of your class. And not just mathematics, you also get courses for EVS, English, Science, Hindi and all other subjects in the EduRev app. Go ahead and join the EduRev app to learn in the most interesting way. Thank you.